What's up, YouTube? Mysterion here from the Quad Squad, and today I have another gameplay slash commentary. This is uh, Domination on Launch. No, I'm just joking, guys. Um, if you don't get that joke, go ahead and go to my How to Be a Support Player video. Um, the whole joke behind it is that the way I say launch, I say launch, like uh, like really weird. I don't know why I did it, but. Um, it's just been a running joke in the quad squad right now. Well, actually, it's been a running joke for quite a while. But anyways, moving on now. This is actually COD 4 gameplay. Um, this has been on my hard drive for quite a while, and I decided to, you know, finally put it up. Um, you're going to notice that there's um, a guy on the other team. His name is, like, Messy Man 14 uh, or Quick Like Messy, something like that. Um, he's actually one of the guys that uh, we know that's a friend of ours. And... Um, he, for some reason, got on the other team. I don't know how, but uh, when we were in our party, it, for some reason, split up like in Battlefield 3. So just letting you guys uh, know ahead of time, no, he was not feeding us kills in any sort of way. We were not boosting off of him. Uh, he was actually trying his best to uh, uh, help his team out um, in a legitimate way. There was no, like, trickery that was going on here. And, um, yeah, just, just giving you guys that uh, heads up. So... I believe this is, uh, I'm not even looking at the gameplay right now, but I'm pretty sure it's Domination on Block, maybe even T TDM. Um, I'm not looking at the gameplay right now. Actually, I should probably pull that up real quick. But today I want to talk about the fact that Modern Warfare 3 is coming up uh, very soon. We are over, or a little under a month now away from Modern Warfare 3. And uh, I know there's a lot of people who don't want to get their hopes up. And then there's a lot of people that are extremely excited, thinking that it's going to be the best game ever this year. And what I, in my opinion on it, is that I'm going to be extremely excited. I'm going to get my hopes up. But what happens, happens. If the game turns out to be not as good as we all thought it was, then whatever, you know. Uh, I'm still going to probably play it, regardless. And, um, you know, I just, I figured that... Sorry there, guys. This is actually, yeah, it's TDM, um, like I thought before, or actually I thought it was Domination. But anyways, getting back to the point, um, the thing is with Call of Duty, that with um, every game, it seems like people decide to go back to the old game after a while. They play it so much that they get bored of it after three months in, and um, they decide to go back and play, you know, the game that came out before that. And... The game that came out before that, um, they were talking so much shit before the end, or until up to the next game, you know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, this has been happening going on since COD 4. So, for instance, for example, when, oh, I'm not going to mention World of War, uh, cause, just because, it, for some reason, it's not a part of this chain of games, uh, to be honest. But when Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 came out, everybody loved it for like the first month and then like the second month people started finding all those uh hacks and glitches and mess up things about the game um like the javelin glitch the uh, care package glitch all that stuff all that crazy nonsense and so people started hating the game uh third month in and then around the fourth to fifth month i'm pretty sure a lot of people including myself were going back to call of duty modern warfare uh the first one uh cod 4 and um uh, I played the hell out of COD 4 after that because for some reason at the time I just was so frustrated with the uh, happenings on uh, Modern Warfare 2 like noob tubing the ridiculous bullshit that was happening that I was frustrated and I'm like I'm never picking up this game again then came the time when I believe Black Ops was announced and at the time like again I came back to Modern Warfare 2 and realized it wasn't such a bad game after all after you get some of those assholes off the game, um, and if, if you get into a good game, you know, it's it's really fun, but when Black Ops was just about to come out, or like, you know, when they started announcing it, uh, you know, putting up the promo vids and stuff like that, everyone, including myself, was excited for it, we were like, oh yeah, we're definitely gonna get this game, fuck Modern Warfare 2, all that kind of stuff, uh, but it turns out that Black Ops, out of all of them, personally, in my opinion, happened to be the worst so far um and i don't try to mean that harshly because i do actually kind of like the game 
I consider it its own kind of style of game towards the Call of Duty series. Like, I don't, for some reason, I don't feel Call of Duty inside of that game. Only when I'm playing Zombies do I actually feel the Call of Duty aspect in that game. I, otherwise, I feel like it's a completely different game from a completely different company. You know, a different developer and publisher. Just It just feels different. Too different. So, now with Modern Warfare 3, people are now just saying Black Ops sucks. And before, they were kissing that, game, that game's ass. Like, they were seriously just gobbing all over that game. Like, they were like, oh my god, it's actually really good. And then, you know, there's people out there that was like, that were like, you know, fuck this game, it sucks, you know, there's, there was a couple people out there, you know, that just went back, straight back to Modern Warfare 2 and put it up, uh, put up Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, and just like, I'm not playing that shitty ass game, uh, for me, it was a back and forth battle, unlike any other series I've done with, in the Call of Duty games before, like, with Black Ops, I ended up liking it, hating it, liking it, hating it, then loving it at one point, and then liking it, and then hating it again, um, I eventually found myself at 10th prestige, uh, which I don't know why I went up to that high of a prestige in that game. That's probably the highest I've ever gone in any of the, of the games, legitimately. I say that uh, because in World at War, I'm going to be honest, I think it was not too long ago that some guy did some 10th prestige hack or whatever uh, for free. And um, so, yeah, I just pretty much have all the guns and stuff like that and that. And it really shouldn't matter because, A, I don't play that game at all. This guy was just like, hey, you want the 10th Prestige or whatever? I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. And B, that game is, like, completely dead now. I mean, yeah, it has its own little community still running, but half of it, or majority of it, is, is the hackers and, the, you know, all that. And I didn't get infections or anything like that, and I just had 10th Prestige all the way maxed out level. But... I still had to get the, my own gun locks and stuff like that, so I actually kind of like that about the 10th Prestige stuff, the, you know. That's the only reason why I would like the 10th Prestige hack is that, you know, you don't want to go through the struggle of going all the way up to 10th Prestige and then have to un having to unlock all those camos and stuff like that. So what I liked about when I got 10th Prestige, whatever, you know, free 10th on uh, World at War, was that I got 10th Prestige, but I didn't get the unlocks and stuff like that. So I still had something to work towards. There's a lot of people in commentating that say they kind of regret getting 10th prestige uh, in Modern Warfare 2, although they had, you know, options to use whatever guns they wanted and uh, whatever camo they wanted to slap on it and the attachment and whatnot, perks, anything. But uh, they have nothing to work towards in that game. So uh, I don't know. But anyways, I think I went off track here greatly. <laughs> so, <coughs> God, excuse me, guys. So anyways, as I was saying, the uh, whole Modern Warfare 3 hype, uh, like I said, for me, it, it doesn't matter. It A lot of people say they don't want to get their hopes up. I know a couple people that are like, yeah, I'm going to get the game, but I'm not expecting much. Um, for me, I'm like, that's the whole point of coming into gaming in this period in time, is that they try to build up so much hype. Regardless of the game is shitty, no matter how shitty it is, it's fun to be excited for the game because you know that when you pick it up at first you're going to actually like it and then after a while you're going to hate it but still the whole fun of it is the hype like that's the reason that you get excited for games it's because you get more excited you watch more videos about them and you just get really hyped and it's so fun because then right when the game releases you're like oh my god this game is spectacular um i did that with tons of games when i was a kid uh, I was always excited for the SmackDown vs. Raw series. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. That's a wrestling game. And I used to be a huge wrestling fan. Of course, now these days, the WWE or whatever that I used to watch is really took a weird turn in their whole thing. Apparently, they're bringing back the Attitude Era, but I'm not going to get into that. I don't know if you guys even care about that. But the point is that I used to be excited for that line of games. I play them from the beginning. I, I When the first game ever came out, uh, before it came out, I knew about it, and I was so excited, you know. I would read about it in the Game Informers, and, you know, before I had the internet, I just had the magazines, and I would just read uh, about the games that I was really excited for. So, yeah, guys, I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty excited, especially since it's the Modern Warfare 3 series. I've always loved Modern Warfare more than any other part of the Call of Duty series. And so, that's pretty much it. That's all I gotta say about this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, 
go ahead and like it, whatever. If you didn't, dislike it. And leave a comment saying uh, whether or not you're hyped up for Modern Warfare 3 or you don't want to be hyped up for it. Whatever you want to talk about it, go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, let me know how you feel about it. Otherwise, my name is Mysterion, and thanks for watching this video, guys.